Well, we've all heard that if you manage the ABCs of diabetes, or maybe you haven't heard this, um, <clears throat> manage the ABCs of diabetes. A is uh, A1C. B is uh, blood pressure. C is cholesterol. Uh, and I will talk about cholesterol later. Uh, S is smoking. These are clearly important. Uh, I would add another one to the A, albuminuria. That's um, protein in the urine. Now, <clears throat> if you manage those, what's the impact on your diabetes? Does it actually, how much does it help? Or is it, once you get diabetes, you're, uh, it's game over? Well, there was some uh, fairly definitive research in the New England Journal, August 18th of, uh, or 16th of 2018. Um, the risk factors, mortality, and cardiovascular outcomes in people with type 2 diabetes. What they did was they looked at <clears throat> whether or not you managed... A1C, blood pressure, albuminuria, as I mentioned, that's uh, the kidney filters, and you manage those by managing these others, and guess what? You remember people talk about me coughing all the time? <coughs> I do. Um, it's my uh, ACE inhibitor, Ramipril. That is the most Im important thing. If you're doing all these other things, uh, if you have just a touch of high blood pressure, Ramipril or the ACE inhibitors are perfect for uh, treatment, if, especially if you have diabetes. Just ask your insurance agent. He'll know. Um, the insurance, insurance companies uh, adjust your insurance rates based on whether or not you're taking those medications if you have diabetes. So, again, if you look at these things, oh, and let's not leave out by far, two times more important than anything else, smoking. So here's what they looked at. They said, if you're controlling all these things, the ABCs, uh, A1C, albuminuria, blood pressure, um, LDL, cholesterol, and smoking, what's the impact on uh, heart attack, stroke, death, all-cause death, and uh, congestive heart failure hospitalization? Well, <clears throat> guess what? It was pretty good. I'll tell you in just a minute, but first a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E -E Started off as an ER doc, got really frustrated and disenchanted with all the preventable death, disease, and disability that people bring in with them to the ER. Went to, uh, to get some training in um, prevention and have ended up training docs in primary care um, in prevention ever since. Um, so this was an interesting study, quarter of a million diabetics, and they looked at uh, 1.3 million controls. And they looked at the amount of control that you have in each of these areas and the impact on uh, death, disease, and disability, heart attack, stroke, uh, congestive heart failure, and just overall death. Guess what? If you have all of those controlled, Let's go straight to the graphs. There's, there's a lot of good charts in here, a lot of uh, <clears throat> detail, but I'm going to spare you that, on that. Um, for those of you who get really uh, geeky about uh, colored chart information, there's plenty of that as well. Let's go straight to the final results, outcomes information. These have nice colors too, but here's the issue. Look at this. Death due to any cause. Um, you control A1C, blood pressure, all of these things. This is the probability of dying if you, uh, for controls. And this was for diabetics. You keep all of those controlled. And your probability of dying is no worse than someone who didn't have diabetes. How about stroke? Is this stroke? No, acute MI, heart attack. Same thing. You keep those five things under control, you're no more likely to have a heart attack than someone who doesn't have diabetes. Uh, which one is this? Heart failure, hospitalization for heart failure. Same thing. 
and stroke, same thing. So again, uh, you're no more likely to have a heart attack, stroke, congestive heart failure, uh, or death than someone who doesn't have diabetes if you control those ABCs. So that's some good news. Thanks for your interest.